Hey everybody, I'm Ryan Cardinal, the creator of the comic book series called Caius, a story of blood and stone, which is now on Indiegogo and In Demand. You can find me here, there, and everywhere by looking for the username at the Ryan Cardinal. So feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to all my social media. Thanks. Hey everybody, and welcome to the channel. So I want to go over something today that's been on my mind for a little bit, and I have a sneaking suspicion that within the next, I'd say maybe one to two years, roughly there's going to be a massive exodus of comic book pros leaving the mainstream industry and coming to crowdfunding like you have not seen. And I'm going to go over a couple of things here that we'll, we'll thread this together. You know, bear with me on this. So here we have the, the fair page rates for 2015. And we're just going to skim through this really, really quick. Nothing, you know, too, too in depth, but uh, let's take a look at the highest and lowest uh, and if there's a blank here it's because I think it's that uh, the people that reported it because this is this is volunteered information uh, nobody reported what the lowest wage wage was uh, so yeah we got the script cover inker penciler highest you know 100 500 55 95 and we're just gonna scroll down till we get to like the big guys here so we got DC comics lowest page you know for a script 90 bucks like Come on, this is this is literally Warner Brothers. They're paying you 90 bucks for a script. High end, 150 bucks. Dude, I could pay somebody 150 bucks to write me a script. That's ridiculous. Cover, 400 bucks. Line art, you know, 650. Uh, I don't know if that's for pencils endings. I'm not too sure on that. Color work, 200 bucks for a cover. Script line art, 375. Like, if if this is the, the 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 upper echelons of comic books. This is DC Comics. This is the highest you could pay. And again, this is 2015. Maybe things have changed. Maybe things have altered. And also, this is uh you got to factor in contracts and spe specific contracts that artists have made. Uh, once you get past this, I'm pretty sure if you're in demand, you can kind of call your shots a little bit more. But still, image color 200 bucks. Script line colors. $66.67? Like, what, what the hell? Uh, okay, so here we, you got Marvel. 2015, here's your high and your lows. These are... These are not good rates. <laughs> and you gotta remember that these are the cream of the crop. This is the highest of the high. This is where you're supposed to want to be. Now, we have a lot of industry pros that are, that are here. You know, they are the cream of the crop, and they're floating between Marvel, DC, Dark Horse... Uh, you know, kind of getting whoever they can. Uh, and, and Valiant here, uh, Valiant has uh, pretty good page rates as well. But, you know, they're a lesser lesser known company. They've been around for a while. But again, this is the upper echelon. This is where people are trying to s strive to be. And we have industry pros uh, in this zone, not making the, the kind of money that they probably feel like they should be making. Again, uh, this is from 2015. Uh, it's pretty much almost the, the exact same, a little bit of variation, a little bit of difference, but not that much. Yeah, yeah. So, you're going to see a massive exodus because why wouldn't you? Let's take a quick look here at most funded Indiegogo comic books of all time. Doug to Naple, Earthworm Jim, just coming off. Uh, it's in demand now, $734,000 for one comic book. Now, granted, it's hardbound, all this kind of crazy stuff. It, it, Doug Tenable has a way of doing the things that he wants to do because you will not be able to get this in stores. Once this is printed, that's it. And that's the appeal that Doug Tenable has built into his campaign. Uh, now we have another one here, Icarus and the Sun. $596,000. This guy here is an Instagram dude who had 2 million followers, and he was able to parlay 2 million followers into over half a million dollars. For a comic book. Ethan Van Skyver, love him or hate him, he has kind of laid down the foundation and the groundwork on what pros need to do in order to start engaging to make this kind of money. If pros are able to come on to YouTube or whatever kind of program, uh, Instagram, their live chat, whatever it may be, you need to start interacting with the customers, the clients, and the fans and in a positive way. Uh, again, one comic book. $538,000. Now, granted, not everybody's going to be this, but 
for pros, pros out there see this, and deep down, I know for a fact somewhere, they're like, I know I can do that. I know I can do that as well. I have a fan base. I've been doing this for 20 plus years. I'm really good with the fans. I really believe I can do this. And we're gonna see it happen. And I think a lot of people are kind of, uh, you know, trepidatious to hop into these waters because it's a lot of work. But as you can see, the work that you put into it, the benefits are there to be reaped. And it's very simple. Get on YouTube, make a channel, interact with the people, and don't be a dick. Try your best not to be a dick. Uh, now, I'm going to bring up a YouTuber here, uh, White Manga. He's been on YouTube since uh, 2013, and he's amassed 242,000 people. Think about that. That's co almost quarter of a million people that subscribe to his channel that he has contact with every time that he releases something. If they're subscribed, so on and so forth, notified. When he goes live and puts out a video, he, he can now advertise whatever he's doing personally to that many people. And I've been keeping an eye on him for a while because A, I like his stuff, and B, like really awesome, straightforward stuff. I'll be leaving a link to his uh, uh, Facebook and all of his information in the description below so you can go check him out. Really cool. Uh, like I said, I've been watching him for a while. But, but this right here, if you have this kind of fan base, how could you not parlay that into a successful crowdfunding campaign on your own? And pros, pros are seeing it. And we're going to look at here. We got the original Drink and Draw Social Club. Uh, I think it's Dan Panosian, Dave Johnson, and I can't remember who this is right here. I'm sorry. But uh, but the thing is, these guys are pros, and they all have pro pull, which means they're able to pull in big-time pros into their stream. You got Josh Barnett, UFC fighter. You have Richard Isonoff, amazing colorist. Uh, you know, Tom Lee Edwards, Jim, uh, Jimmy Palmiotti, Michael Oming, uh, Frank Terry, Scotty Young, Sanford Green, Blake Northcott, Frank Cho, like the, like, this is all Killer Row kind of stuff, and they're just starting, and they're at, you know, just over a thousand people, and they've been at it since, uh, as of February 2019, so this year alone, you know, they're at a thousand people, and they're already pulling in a Killer's Row of artists to draw with them. This is going to start growing, and what I think is going to happen is that you're going to see a lot of people slowly kind of gauge this on the pro end and see how it works. If they can come in and be like, hey, this is not that bad, this is kind of fun, I can do this on my own, we're going to see a slow but sure spiral outward of, of pros en masse coming to either YouTube, whatever kind of streaming platform, and they're going to start parlaying this into their own crowdfunding success because ultimately... Why wouldn't you? If you're a creative person, you know you know you, you know how to put something together. Why wouldn't you take a chance on it? it it's almost a no-brainer. If you have the ability, you can do this. Look, I'm an idiot, <laughs> and I was able to pull off a successful first-time crowdfunding campaign. Very simple. I made I made my pitch. I have, you know put my story together. It's a black and white comic, you know manga themed, manga manga oriented, uh, kind of like a weird blend of what I draw and what I like and pulling references from stuff, but my first time go, I was successful. Did I make that kind of money like the other guys? No, but that's not the point. For me, I wanted to see, is it is it a viable option? And if it's a viable option for me, who somebody who's not a pro, it's definitely a viable option for people that are a pro. So yeah, I think in the next year and a half, two years, we're gonna see a massive influx in the indie scene. The crowdfunding scene is gonna explode. Uh, whether or not it's going to be too many cooks in the kitchen, we'll find out. Uh, and we're really, really going to find out who who wants to stick around and be their, their own boss in the creative sphere, or do they want to just be a worker and work for the big two? And there's nothing bad with that either. Uh, a lot of people could actually probably parlay their success there directly into the crowdfunding or vice versa to be like, hey, I did a crowdfunding thing, I made X amount of money, now, big two, this is the kind of money that I want if you want me on your project. But we'll see. Uh, 
that's going to kind of be it. Just my two cents on this. We'll see what happens. Just going to do a quick uh, indie comic shout out here for Blood Hunt. Uh, this is by Simon Potier. He's got nine days left on his Indiegogo campaign. So if you want to go check him out, we'll just scroll down here quickly. Take a quick look at his artwork. Artwork looks awesome. Uh, looks like there's uh, some sweet vampire hunter action. Black and white comic. I'm a big fan. And again, description to this uh, will be, or a link to this will be in the description below. So that's Blood Hunt. Payback is meh or a debt in blood. So go check that out. I'll also leave links to everything else, uh, including my Indiegogo, uh, the original Drink and Draw, White Manga. And other than that, that's it. Thanks for everybody for coming out. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it uh, in the comment section below. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. You know the routine. Slowly trying to make my channel grow because I got plans for my project and a couple new projects down the road. So I will be seeing you all in the near and dear future. Peace. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks.